care. I want to talk a little bit about education in Ghana. Yesterday, I mentioned that formal education, like the classroom type, like the one I'm doing, you have the people sit down and somebody stand and talk to them and teach them, teach them what is what is what how what to do with this started in the castle schools. That doesn't mean that we don't have education. We just didn't have education where somebody will come and gather a group of people and start telling them this. Our education was you observe, you practice. Mostly Tekinka. So we were imbibed with the Tekinka and the Tekinka knowledge uh, that you could be sent to somewhere to live with somebody to learn blacksmith. Blacksmithing. Or if your parent or your father is a blacksmith, you observe and you practice and then you become a master in the trade. Indeed, when some of the, when the Europeans came, in some of the businesses, they included these ones. They included the tradition and whatever more than they also brought in. So we had that kind of informal education. If you're a girl, mama wouldn't just say one day, come, I'll show you this. I said, oh, fake the, 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 the coal and put it, I mean the coal pot, and bring the charcoal and put it in the pot. You let it and you fan it. And then you observe the way mama is cooking. That is how you learn it. And I won't tell you this is how, look, look at this, do this, do this. You just see her doing it and then you also learn. Therefore, those of us from the northern part of the country, I went to university before I know how to lit a stove. Because in our area, we only cook in the farm. And we, what we cook in the farm is just something to, <laughs> to fill your belly. It's not something as tasteful as you do back home. So at home, it is our mamas that cook. And in the kitchen, if you were found standing in the kitchen, and they came and they realized that they said that a piece of meat is missing, <laughs> there is no culprit anywhere, you are the one. <laughs> because you are not needed there. So our mothers and sisters, they served us very, well, very, very well. Food and everything. Yours is to make sure the food is available and they will take care of everything. So therefore, those of us in the north, we grow up not knowing how to prepare anything. You, if you learn, you learn. Other than that, it's not something you see by, by, by practice. Then, but in the south, people, men know how to cook. In our, in our, in our, uh, our north, if you're a man and you are cooking, it's like, ah, how they, they think you are not a complete man. You are a complete man. I mean, you are a complete man by act, but then by what you should be doing. You should not be the one cooking. I thought it was the other way around. Being a master chef as a man make you a complete man. No, 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 we didn't see it that way. We didn't see it. Even after that, we didn't see it that way. You cooking? What, what are you cooking? What are, what are, so they were asking you what I prepared. But I understand because most of our food needed skills. And men didn't have those skills. What? We didn't have all the, the kind of, it's our food was not cooking, just boiling yam. You need to dry, I mean, the, the, the tea it, or you need to pound the fufu. And you don't know how to pound it. Yeah. You don't know how to turn it. Up to today, I can't turn fufu once. I, I, I can only pound, but I cannot, somebody cannot be pounding while I'm turning. I fear you will hit my hand. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'll, find, I'll, I'll pound the fufu. And that one, I lent it down here. Because in the north, nobody will ever ask you to come and pound fufu. For what? 
<laughs> Nobody will ask you to do that. So, therefore, it's a, it's a, the north and south is a complete different. It's also like our hereditary system. In the account, we have the group that is called account and the non accounts. All non accounts are patrilinear. You inherit your father. We believe that the children belong to the man. So you inherit your father, position and wealth. Non accounts are matrilineal. I believe mine, but I think this gonna make sense. Because they say human being is made of three elements. Element number one is a soul. Of course, my soul, our soul, soul is in us. That's why we are sitting in this box. If the soul is not working, <laughs> you cannot sit in this box with us. We gotta put it somewhere else. And that <laughs> we say is given by God. Yes. Then human beings, they say, has spirit, which controls your personality traits. Mm -hmm. Your personality traits. Oh, wicked, husband, uh, handsome, ugly, uh, wicked, nice, kind, generous. These are all your personality traits, that's the spirit and it is attributed that you got it from your father. Do when the boy or girl is nice and then kind, so instead of attributed it completely to the mother, to the father, the mother says, oh yeah, there's kindness in our family. But if you are wicked, a, you got this wickedness from your father. <laughs> <laughs> and the third one is, Human being is made of blood. And the blood was supplied by your mother. The man just put in the seed, nurtured by the woman's blood. So if you want to do elimination by distribution, God takes the soul, it goes away with the spirit. The physical thing that you can touch because the two are abstractions. You can only feel them. I can only talk about you being generous. I can't see generosity in you. If I say you are generous and somebody says she's, he's not generous, it's, that's the way the person, the person sees you. For the soul, I know we are talking about you because the soul is there. That's why we're talking about you. But the physical thing belongs to the mother. So therefore, children belong to their mother. Does that make sense? That's why I said it makes sense for me. But we turn in, we continue with this. We turn in into the Ukrainian